DIY is back, and while they was kicking Imperium's ass in the ring, Raw went off the air. Before we get into Raw, I wanted to talk about Edge joining AEW. I think it's great for AEW. Edge is still one of my favorites. It's going to give them a lot of ratings. There's also tons of people I want to see Edge face in AEW, Kenny Omega being one of them. It does suck though, I did want to see Edge with another World Heavyweight Championship run in WWE. It also doesn't look normal to see Edge in AEW. It's like seeing a Marvel hero in a DC universe. But I'm looking towards to see what he can do in AEW. Raw started off with a brawl between Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Rodriguez comes down to the ring to return the favor to Nia Jax. Rodriguez accidentally kicks Shayna. Then Rhea Ripley shows up eventually beating the shit out of security. Rhea gets on the mic and tells the Judgment Day to come down to the ring. Priest and Dom start making their way to the ring since Finn is comma comma injured. She says she leaves for two weeks and shit's going downhill. Rhea blames Priest for Dominic losing his championship. Priest says he has his titles and his contract. Then Priest says, where's Dominic's title? Rhea turns around, goes up to Dominic, says you have a rematch against Williams on NXT. You're welcome. Also, if you don't plan on winning the championship back, don't plan on coming home. Jey Uso interrupts, comes down to the ring, hops on the mic, and says, We did miss you, Rhea. Jey also says, Rhea apparently has bigger balls than Roman ever did. Dominic says Priest isn't clear to compete tonight, so he'll handle Jey Uso. Dom then gets super kicked. From out of nowhere, JD shows up and starts getting upper hand on Jey Uso because of the numbers. Cody Rhodes comes out to try to even the odds. Adam Pearce comes out and says, enough. We'll finish this with Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso versus the Judgment Day this Saturday at Fastlane. It's looking like we're getting cracks in the Judgment Day, but in my opinion, WWE isn't going to split them up anytime soon. Well, it's WWE, so you never know. Look what they did to the Hurt Business. Then we get to Alpha Academy versus Aperium. Later on in the match, Otis gets a hot tag and starts going crack mode 3000. Then after Chad Gable does a front flip off the apron, Otis gets kicked in the face and Imperium gets the win. I swear it's every match I want to see Gable get the win, bro just loses. It cuts to backstage with Adam and Knox, Chelsea Green shows up and starts talking that basic white bitch shit. Knox gets Adam to put her in a match with Chelsea later tonight. Then we get to Bronson Reed versus Cedric Alexander. Alexander had a great start, but once Reed squashed his ass, it was over. Reed hit his finish and got the win. Cuts backstage with Adam and Drew McIntyre. Drew says if the Miz steps out there, he's going to regret it. Also, Adam asks Drew, are you all good? You seem off, hinting at Drew's heel turn. After commercial break, it cuts to Adam in the ring for the contract signing. He brings out Champa and then brings out Gunther. Champa says next week he's going to win the championship he's dreamed about since he was five years old. Gunther then continues talking about him being the longest reigning intercontinental champion in history. Then Gunther puts the title in Champa's face and says this is the closest you'll ever get to this championship. Champa says forget about waiting to fast lane, he'll fight Gunther tonight. Adam says it's official, it will be tonight. Then the brawl begins. Gunther starts throwing tables, Champa throwing chairs and shit. Now I want to throw some shit. Cuts to backstage to the Judgment Day. Priest is heated. JD starts talking. Priest gets even more pissed. We cut back to Raw with Kofi Kingston thrusting on Wade Barrett. We get to Xavier Woods versus Ivar. While Woods and Ivar are on the outside, Wood gets on the barricade and does whatever the hell this is. Woods also casually lifted Ivar up and slammed his ass. Then Woods did a roll up and got the win. Kofi started screaming in Wade's face. After the match, Ivar attacks Woods from behind. Kofi gets in the ring, tries to help, but gets stacked on top of Woods and Ivar does his top rope moonsault on top of both Woods and Kofi. Seth Rollins then makes his way to the ring. He gets on the mic and says he's going to give it his all at Fastlane. Nakamura interrupts with a promo. While Seth is watching it, Nakamura blindsides him from behind. While Seth is laying on the ground, Nakamura grabs a mic and starts counting to ten. Cuts backstage with Knox. Becky shows up and says this wasn't her plan to be injured this week. Natalia then shows up and says after last week, she now has respect for Knox. Then we get to Tegan Knox versus Chelsea Green. It was a short match. Knox hit her finish and got the win. Then we cut to backstage with Byron Saxon dapping up Jey Uso. Jey says if it's Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes, then we good. Full speed ahead, yo. Then starts running off. Drew McIntyre comes down to the ring, hops on the mic and starts talking for a minute. The Miz interrupts, comes down to the ring just for Drew to keep telling him to shut the hell up like last week. The Miz asks the crowd, do you want a match tonight? 
Then he waits a few seconds for the crowd to pop. Then he says, we're not dressed for a fight. I'm in a suit and he's in a skirt. Miz says instead of playing hero, he'll be the hero and walks away. Then he starts running back to the ring to attack Drew. Then we get to Drew McIntyre versus The Miz in a suit. During the start of the match, Drew starts beating the shit out of The Miz. Miz tries to take the turnbuckle off. Drew gets in the corner and about to go for a claymore. Turns around and grabs his sword. Ref is like, nah, brother. Can't have that. Drew takes the rest of the turnbuckle off and then throws Miz into the exposed turnbuckle. And Drew McIntyre gets the win. Backstage promo with Trick Williams. He says he's facing Dom on NXT. Dom and Rhea show up and Rhea says, be ready because Dom's not coming alone. Cody Rhodes comes down to the stage and says it was the Judgment Day that backed themselves into this fight. Says that him and Jay are going to march to Fastlane and win the Tag Team Championships and it will be a different Monday Night Raw. We cut backstage to Alpha Academy where Chad Gable doesn't like savages or idiots. Then we get to the main event, Gunther vs. Champa. Eventually, Gunther and Champa get on the outside. Gunther tries to chop Champa, but Champa moves out of the way. Gunther chops the announcer's table. Later on, Champa gets in the corner for his finish. Starts running at Gunther just to get drop kicked. Champa tries to lift Gunther, gets reversed. Gunther power bombs Champa twice. Then puts him in a sleeper hold to get the win to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Then as Gunther is walking off, Imperium starts attacking Champa. Then Johnny Gargano returns to save Champa. He comes down to the ring and starts beating the shit out of Imperium. That's when Raw cut off and I was like, bruh. Raw was alright. How do you feel about Johnny's return? I honestly forgot he was a part of the roster. Last time I remember hearing anything about him, Champa was looking for his ass but couldn't find him anywhere.